Hey the berries, welcome to season 2024. Playing some Sona support. With an Ash and up against a Jin Zerath. Jin has cleanse, Zerath has exhaust. It's gonna be a pretty difficult lane. It's kind of like double poke v double poke, but their double poke is better than ours. Um Yeah, I mean I say it's double poke v double poke, it's more like they're gonna poke at us and we're just gonna to have to try and do the occasional volley back and Yeah. And hopefully they get caught out, really. Probably just going to stick to a max W build. I don't think we'll go too crazy. Um, enemy team has got a good chunk of burst. This could be a game where... I think right now, I actually don't think the tier Archangel's build is that bad on Sona. Just because there is so much damage in the game at the moment. And that shield can help mitigate. So I think we will do a tier build this game. I think once the damage eventually goes down a little bit... We will probably opt in more into just going like Moonstone into Staff of Flowing Water. But I think a little bit of self protection isn't the worst thing in the world. Let's get a nice level 2 here. Like, it's nice that Ash is looking for like a level 2 aggressive kind of play, but honestly, our, uh, it's not a huge amount we could do here. We're going to get poked down, yeah, eventually. Maybe we can drain the, uh, I don't like your positioning here, mate. Can you not do this? Seraph is running out of mana, so yeah, we can mitigate him a little bit here, actually. Oh, okay, give credit where it's due. Like, I think enemy bot lane are playing bad, but I think this Ash is actually playing to the, to the limit here, and I think she's identified that and exploiting that quite nicely. Oh no. I didn't like that though. I don't think we needed to do that. Yeah, that was... I didn't like that very much. We will get here. I don't think that was necessary. I think they were already under turret, like really low HP and resources anyway. I think they would have struggled to last hit under turret. Now this gives them a chance to, you know, come back into lane with full health and stuff. So I think that wasn't worth it. I think we could have like drawn that out for another couple of minutes and Jin would have lost like, you know, two waves worth of gold, I think. And Zeref wouldn't have been able to poke that much anyway. He was basically out of mana. So yeah, I think we should have used that. Because from now on, it's going to be a lot trickier because Zeref will start picking up some AP items. Like he did kill the Ash, so. what I was worried about. I don't really have much health for this. But... Okay. 
Let's pick up the flash. A true masterpiece should celebrate living. Off of the Zara. Jin's trying to get a dark harvest stack off of me. There's a play at him. I'm running a bit lower mana. I don't want to stick around for too much. But I kind of have to stay. I need to preserve the mana a little bit more. Even though like I'm not that much of a threat, me just being in this brush. And that wasn't like much damage, for example. But it's just a bit annoying for them. Oh. Zeref bought Oblivion Orb first item. Okay. I'm a little bit surprised at that. Actually, a great deal ahead of gold ahead of the Zara from the support item. Just need this item to upgrade. I need to get out of combat. Vi is dead, right? Yeah, yeah, she's dead. The joy of an <laughs> and the Ash is flaming me because I didn't use summon a hill, but I think she was too far away from me anyway. Oh well. Um, we will... Just rush Archangels, I think. Yeah, he's only reduced 9 healing and 3 regeneration from the Oblivion Orb. Getting Oblivion Orb this early is... I'm on my way, buddy. Jin. What is Jin? Yeah, she's not doing great mentally, is she? I mean, she's not even like that far behind. But I rarely see an Ash do well, if I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think Ash in general is that great of a pick. Lucky Zareth messed up there, he could have killed me. You're doing fine. The tempo changes, and so do we. Play on. Enemy has been slain. Pick up the pace. Life has been slain. The 
but he was still just about on cooldown. Um, okay. That sucks. Grubbers. Yeah, ta Ash is getting to it out of her mind. I don't need to read what she's saying. Oh no. Action. Okay. Yeah, this 380 kick carry composition is not working too amazing. Gotta try and get plates here. Need to get out of combat. Get this green bubble. Sarah's coming down. Azir might try and do like a shuffle here. Still mid. I mean, if that Zit actually has recalled, then we need to look at gameplay it's here. I just had to be patient with the ult there because I knew I wasn't going to die super fast. There's no way to get to the Ash though to help her out. Bad ult here would have altered the, uh, the Jin. for flowing water next just for movement speed reasons and then ardent like the AP is going to benefit me and like Corky but that's it really Should be able to get this turret. This first turret of the game, so Some extra pennies. in the area here too.
There's no reason for me to be there. That was just insanity. Team's just ending. A lot of really, really bad deaths. That would have been good. And there's a belt there for my ass. I haven't got heal yet. Okay. Well, the Xerus and the two power pod Ws saving that. If I had the heal, I would have li lived there. That's a shame. Really, really close to surviving that. Yeah, if we can get a herald off of that, that'd be really nice. Oops. Lost myself for a minute. Yeah, she did flash her in. Team has destroyed a Must go. I don't like not having control of this brush. That's what I say. Do we just want to do this? Okay, I can chill out. As soon as this is a uh, prestige. Uh, Immortal Journey. On this, this here. Okay, cool. Uh, it's Baron in the 30, but we should probably just do the dragon. Sticking with this ash a bit just so I can get some more passive stacks. Everything in See how that turret noise. Yeah, I guess I die here, right? Wait, did Jin miss those? I'm lucky to be alive. Okay. Stuff with my water, we'll do Ardent next. 
Is Asha Smurf? I don't know. I haven't checked her stance. She's playing okay on lane and then she's mega tilted. So, yeah, she could be. <laughs> they get mega tilted. Being this far up, we don't have any side pressure really. Just gotta hang back, play really, really, really passive, try and prioritize doing power cord W whenever I can. I did use power cord slow in the previous team fight on the battle death, but I don't think it was worth it. We could still dash into range even when slowed. Go back and get some awards. That's annoying and rude. have a jungler there. Don't know about this, we have to turn. It is slow him. Well, hi. He's just not playing the game. He teleported at bot, didn't he? That sucks. Your team has destroyed a turret. Yeah, I don't know what's up with Porky, but he's raged off, isn't he? Is it possible to set a Q rank support and get a high rank? I mean, I've been doing it my whole life, like, so yeah, you can climb a support. Maybe he thought we were going to get Baron and then just teleported down bot lane to try and do split pressure or something. I'm not sure exactly, but... At least not many of them have Baron, I don't think, right? They got it! Things on. I lost two smite battles now. Sucks that you can smite when crowd controlled. I hate that so much. Nice, so Twenty infernal stacks. 
What are you doing? Uh, it's 0.2 haste per stack, I believe. is just getting outplayed like crazy. This is really depressing. Just arrow. Okay, I don't know if she insta arrows. Does she just save Corky though? I feel like we're just falling off like crazy. With having so many squishies on the team is just not working out. Like Garen is getting to do it too much. If I didn't ult there, I would have died. If you just killed me on not one or two. Baron and Dragon in one minute. I want to go buy my Arden, but... at all. I know it's like we're not gonna find a pick like this. Five K damage blocked with bubbles and two point one K damage out. Um, redemption or moonstone? We didn't even buy a moonstone. You're doing fine. Yeah, having moonstone and a dawn core here would be great. I might be able to. I might be able to not have boots of acidity. I could maybe go dawn core instead of that item, but I, I need moonstone. We need more sustain. But if I heal or shield people that take damage, I can um, get my cooldown on my ulti a little bit lower. Oh, 
Holy f Resources left, I got like no wards in this time. Let me stack. Uh, Ash got to instantly revive, Let's I guess. Again. No. Ash arrow has been flying for me right now. Crap, this Corky's actually doing quite a lot of damage. What's the next objective, Baron? Like, I don't trust Vi to win the smite fight. I just, I don't know. There's a TP coming through. The, these guys are alone. No! <laughs> Ash. Wait, what? why are we running? I'll just tank it. We need to keep this cart kind of minion alive. Get in, GG. <laughs> the arrow at the end. Yeah, that was difficult. I think we were lucky. Corky's damage actually went sky high there late game. He is a late game champion, but I've not seen him in a game properly like that late before. For a long time. Yeah, you could tell the Ash was just tilted. Even though she wasn't typing like at the end there, she was just kind of running it a little bit. I did more damage than Vi, really. Um, but let's have a look at the shield and hill stats. It's a shame we didn't get a Dream Maker stat. Maybe we can look at the VOD, the replay, and have a look. Let's and see. Ally healing, 13k. And that's without Moonstone as well. Shielding another 11k. So we did, like, what? 24k effective healing and shielding that game. Um... It was good. I think if I didn't have to go Zeraphs, I think once the damage goes down, it will go down. At least I'm praying it will go down over the next few patches. I think not going Zeraphs would be great. You can get Moonstone and Dawncore in. And those two are really nice interactions with each other. See Crasher 3 joined the Berry Bush. Hi. Hey Crasher, thanks for the 31. So yeah, I think for now, um... That's probably the best build path for Sona right now. Unless you feel like the enemy team has like a lot of tanks and won't be doing that much damage at all. Then just don't go Xerath and just go into Moonstone first. Then go Staff of Flowing Water into an Ardent if you need an Ardent. If you don't need an Ardent, then it makes your job a bit easier then because then you can go into like Thorncore or the Moonstone if you haven't got it already. Um, 
it. It's just because I had 380 carries. It would have been stupid not to have an Ardent. Yeah, otherwise if I only had like one AD carry and it was like a Jin, I would just go like a Dawncore or a Moonstone if I didn't have the Moonstone. Moonstone Pro, I think. So yeah. GG.